Hi, so we're going to be working on the comb that we developed in video 1382. Now we're outside so you can see, I mean you can hear from the microphone and see from the trees, today we've got no wind. So we'll go inside and set up our fan. But we know the cone works because we've had it in the wind the day previous, got a result from it. So we know the idea works and we're going to test it using the fan unfortunately because we have no wind. Now, in a video uh, 1126, so it was quite a while ago, I don't know if you remember this. This is an impeller I pulled from an exercise bike, and it was the inspiration for the Rose turbine. That worked pretty well, with only one kind of issue about it, and that was this big blank plate and the wind having to come from one direction into this central hole to make it work efficiently. And of course, what does the cone and pipe do? but exactly that. So we're going to stick this by the cone pipe arrangement, the Venturi arrangement that we've got, and we're going to see if we can actually make it work. One of the interesting things about holes like this, or an orifice, is an orifice acts like uh, an inefficient Venturi. So the wind is collected in the cone, and we're going to use a blower just over there. Divert it to where we want it to, it should hit this area, and then this should act a bit like a venturi in itself, and of course that should make it spin, throwing the air out in that direction. So, as you're no doubt aware, that rear cone that we did on the first version was really a pain in the neck. So this gets rid of the rear cone, and it helps solve the problem that this had in that unidirectional wind that we were looking at. So, let's set it up and see if we can get something out of it. Now, I personally thought that was awesome. What you get a lot of the time from people is, uh, that's a lot of effort for not very much power, and I just don't understand that. But for those people, this is a, a roughly made thing. If we look at the distance between the coil here and the magnet, it's about a centimeter. So it's not much force that's being applied to this coil. The coil is a multi-turn coil from a microwave oven, so we get quite a high voltage out of it. Even if we're just spinning it by hand, we'd get something out of that. What it's doing is showing that that idea can work, and investigating that idea as a matter of interest would then lead me to want to build a bigger version. And of course, we have built a bigger version of this when we did the original um, experiments with the Rose turbine, unfortunately, the bigger version was in the way and did get destroyed. So I'm going to have to make another version of this where everything's a bit more tighter in its tolerances because then we should get a, a good result out of that that we can measure against the wind speed that we've actually put it in. But for me, a very interesting result. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for all the really good suggestions in the comments. Keep them coming, guys. And uh, please remember to like and subscribe.